Hey friends, Mr. Barry here, and today we're gonna do gym class at home. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go on a bear hunt, and you're gonna do it with me. And we're gonna be reading through this book. It's called, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. And as we read through it, we're gonna do all the motions that the family does in this story. So we're gonna be active. And the biggest things I want you to do right now while you're at home is I want you to make sure that you're moving and I want you to make sure that you're getting your heart rate up. If you're moving and you're getting your heart rate up, it's gonna be good exercise. It's gonna help you keep healthy even while we're at home. So let's go through this book. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you've ever been on a bear hunt before. I don't think I've ever been on a bear hunt before. So let's, let's go get one. So let's start off the first page. And it says, we're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. And here's the family. They're going out on a bear hunt. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a little rainy today, but it's still a beautiful day. And we got some sunny ones coming up. So here we go. We're on a bear hunt. We're walking out. So just let's go ahead. Let's walk out. We're going to get out of kind of our area. We're going to walk out to, to the woods or at least where the bear hunt is. So I want you, anytime we're not doing anything, I want you at least be to be walking as we do this video. We're going to go out. We're going to see. So we're walking. Come to our first obstacle here. It says, oh no, we got some grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. We got to walk through it. So this is like huge, big grass. So like they throw this grass aside. This is like velociraptor grass where you're walking out and a raptor would just jump out. So except there's not velociraptors right now, but we're just moving through this grass, unless you want there to be on your bear hunt. Then there can be velociraptors, and your little brother or sister can dart in and be a velociraptor from the side. Besides that, we're moving, moving. Get it, get this grass out of the way. Here we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, let's see where we're at now. Oh, we were supposed to make sounds with the grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. So you can make those sounds as you get through this nice, tall, beautiful grass. That says we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no. A river. A deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. So now we got to swim. So let's go ahead. You can swim this way first. As you're walking, I want your legs to keep moving as we're doing this. So let's go ahead. Let's swim. Push in and pull on that water. And let's do some 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 long overhead strokes like this and pull that water down as you're doing it. You know, when you're swimming, the more parallel you are to the water, like if this is the water, you wanna be like this, you wanna be parallel. You don't wanna be perpendicular because then you're always gonna sink with your center of gravity. So if you can actually get parallel and pull, it'll be much easier to swim. And that, that head down as we're pulling. We're swimming through this river. Nothing can stop us on this bear hunt. We're gonna go through every obstacle. All right. Oh, we're probably supposed to make sounds. Splish, splash is my guess. Let me see. We got, probably got some sounds here. Yep, yep. So we're splashing through. Splash, 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 splash. And there's the family. There they are. They're going through the river, just like us. Mm, let's see what we got next. All right, we're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, no. Mud. Thick. Oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Let's see what sound we should make for the mud before we do it. Okay, the, the sound we're going to make is squelch, squirch. It's a little hard. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Squelch, squirch, squelch, squirch. Okay, and there they are going through the mud. So what we're going to do for the mud, I want you to just hop on one foot. Hop on one foot. Maybe move around left and right a little bit. Hop on that one foot as you're going through. This is also a really good way to build speed. If you're trying to build speed, you do a lot of jumping on one foot. Speed comes from your ability to drive off the ground. So the more you work on actions like that, you're going to build a lot of agility. You're going to build fast uh, twitch muscle fibers, and you're going to build a lot of speed. All right, so we're through the mud. Hopefully that one got your heart rate up a little bit. All right. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no. Another obstacle. A forest. A big dark forest. 
We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no. We've got to go through it. Let's see what happens with this forest. Hmm. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. There must be like a lot of logs or something in this forest because the, the family seems to be stumbling. Now everyone falls down sometimes. What it's about is if you get back up and you keep going. And so we're gonna practice getting back up. We're gonna pretend that we tripped, we fell in the forest and we're gonna get back up and we're gonna do some push-ups to do that. And we're gonna make our arms and our muscles nice and strong as we do that. So get ready, see if you can get in the push-up position faster than me on your mark. Get set, go. All right, good job. You got into the push-up position pretty fast there. Let's go ahead, let's do some push-ups. When you do a push-up, you wanna come down until your arms are about 90 degree angle and then push up nice full extension just like that my back straight okay i shouldn't be like this i shouldn't be down there like this i should have my back straight nice position coming down the whole way and then pushing up until my arms are straight so let's go ahead let's do a couple push-ups knock out some right here excellent excellent form you're pretty good at this now for some of you if those are getting a little hard remember you can also go to your knees and you can do knee push-ups and come down that way. And if you do enough of those, that'll build up to where you can do regular push-ups, making our arms nice and strong. Let's knock out, ah, let's do seven more. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Great job. All right, let's see if you can beat me back up. You ready? Ready, Mark? Get set, go. All right, those were some fantastic push-ups. You killed that, that was absolutely awesome. So let's look at the next one. We're still on this bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt, we're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day, we're not scared. Oh no, a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. Oh no, we've gotta go through it. And for a snowstorm, okay, it's like, it's like the tornado snowstorm, so. We gotta spin. We're gonna spin all around. So spin as fast as you can. Flip around. Make it harder. Maybe put your hands in the air. And stop and go the other direction. Spin the other direction. Spin the other direction. Whew. And stop. Whoa. Those are some crazy, crazy winds. Howling winds. You can see them going through the snowstorm right there. All right. I think we gotta be getting close, right? Hopefully we'll find a bear soon. Going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no, a cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. All right. What sounds should we make in the cave? Oh, we're tiptoeing. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. What's that? All right, so as we're walking in this cave, and we'll see what what's that is in a second. We're coming in nice. We're tiptoeing, very sneakily coming in this cave. You got to duck over some things. So what I want you to do now is you're going to do some squats. So put your legs about shoulder width apart. Your hands can just be in front. I want you to squat down and come back up. Squat down, come back up, making sure your knees don't go over your toes. You should feel all the work in your legs are squatting down and we're dodging some things in the cave because there's stalactites and all kinds of stuff that's coming down. We're moving down and we're tiptoeing. We're moving past this cave. Now we need to find out what the what's that is. And here's, here they are in the cave. They're coming in, tiptoeing in nice and quiet. Ooh. One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big goggly eyes. It's a bear. And there he is. We found him. Do you think they run from the bear? Do they capture the bear? What do they do? What would you do? That's an interesting plan. Let's see. Quick, they're going to go back through the cave. So tiptoe, tiptoe again. Squats, squats. They're running from the bear. They're running from it. Back through the snowstorm. You got to you gotta, spin around, spin around, spin around back through the forest so push-ups again get ready go push-ups again you should be ready <laughs> stumbling through the woods good job push up push up push up push up excellent excellent 
Excellent job on those push-ups. We gotta go back through the mud. You're hopping on one foot, hopping on one foot. Squelch, squirt, squelch, squirt. Now you're swimming. Splash, splash, splash. You're swimming back. That bear, he is still coming. He's even coming through the water. And we're down now to the grass, a big tall grass, velociraptor grass. You're moving in, you're moving. Let's run a little bit, get those high knees going. Let's run, run, let's run, let's run, let's run. Whew. We get to our front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. We got to shut the door, so now we're gonna go back downstairs. So run back downstairs, close that door. Okay, now run back upstairs. Shut the door back upstairs, into the bedroom, into the bed, hiding under the covers. So now we're hiding. You can't even see me. I'm hiding. That's how good of a hider I am. I just whew, vanish just like that. And then the last page says that we're not going on a bear hunt again. So it didn't really turn into a bear hunt, turn into a bear run. And there's the bear. I guess he's going back. You know what? He's just lonely. I think that's that's what happened. He was just, he just wanted to be their friend. He looks pretty lonely in that picture. They should have played with him. They shouldn't have ran away from the bear. At least that's that's my opinion. So that was a great job. Hopefully that got you moving as much as you can while you're home. I want you to try to get outside, um, enjoy this beautiful sunshine, play with friends, um, and remember keep moving and keep your heart rate up. And just like the book, they went through all kinds of different obstacles and woods and mud and water. And sometimes in life, you can't go over stuff, you can't go under stuff, you just have to go through it. And so whatever obstacles you face, there's nothing that you can't overcome. You just gotta uh, keep taking one more step. Even if it's like the woods where you fall down and you trip, just keep getting up and keep taking one more step until you get to the other side. So great job um, with gym class today. And uh, I hope you guys just have a wonderful rest of your day. You're awesome. See you, friends.